First, you can't talk about the year that was without mentioning gay rights. In September, we saw the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, so now gay, lesbian, and bisexual people can openly serve in the military. Just this month, two women sailors became the first to share the Navy tradition of first kiss. And of course, in June, New York became the sixth and largest state. You may seal your vows with a kiss. 84-year-old Connie Kopalov and 76-year-old Phyllis Siegel. I've heard those words before, relatives, friends, but they never meant as much to me as that day. What I did was feel a swelling inside of me. As corny as that sounds, that's what I felt. That's Phyllis Siegel. She'd been with Connie Kopalov 23 years before tying the knot. Talking to you is making me feel it again, and I'm become a little breathless. It was a Sunday, June 24th. The women both wore white pants and blue shirts, blue being the color of fidelity. And though Phyllis will tell you marriage has changed some things... They call each other wife and just laugh because it's so nice. She says, really, they're like any other couple. We have our little spats, and uh, then we make up, and we tease each other, and uh, it's just great. It's... It's on a different level. I can tell you that. I can't define it any more than that. Among those applauding the recent strides in gay rights is columnist and activist Dan Savage. Last year, he and his husband, Terry Miller, started the It Gets Better Project, a series of YouTube videos to help prevent suicide among LGBT youth. This year, the pair co-edited a book inspired by the videos. And Dan Savage joins me now from the studios at KPLU in Seattle. Dan, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Dan, it seems like it's been a really big year for advances in gay rights. In fact, our recent article in the Guardian newspaper calls 2011 a good year to be gay. Why did they avoid the obvious rhyme, a good year to be queer? <laughs> um, do, do you agree with that? Yeah, it was a huge and very consequential year from the, the end, finally, of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, gay marriage being legalized in New York State through the legislature, which in an instant more than doubled the numbers of Americans who are living in states, six now in the District of same-sex marriage is legal. Hillary Clinton's speech to the UN, where she stood up for a half an hour and lectured world leaders on the fact that gay rights are human rights. We were all blown away. LGBT people in America just were staggered when she began the speech and was talking about LGBT rights all over the world and didn't stop. And it was historic. You mentioned the passage of the New York Marriage Equality Act, arguably one of the biggest victories for gay rights this year. What do you think this means then for the rest of the country? What this means is, you know, increasingly people are seeing LGBT people as not these sort of existential, scary, boogie monster threats to the institution of marriage, but people who have a right to equal treatment under the law and are no more a threat to the institution of marriage. Um, and of course, people remarrying, Jews marrying Catholics, or any of the other sea changes we've seen in the quote-unquote definition of marriage over the years. Don't ask, don't tell, of course, officially ended after quite a fight, and many soldiers have come out publicly since then, how would you describe the adjustment process, so to speak? It's been a non-issue. The head of the Marines, who is the most vocal and high-profile opponent of being like DADT, has admitted now that he was wrong. The DADT repeal mid-December got its iconic image, much like the, the sailor kissing the nurse in Times Square. On VE Day, a lesbian sailor won the right to be the first off her ship after 80 days at sea to kiss a loved one she kissed her girlfriend, who was also a lesbian sailor. This image was all over the world. It was on the front page of, of newspapers all over the United States. So do you feel like there's a big sea change then in terms of the American public? A couple of years ago, I was at a park in Seattle, which is a beautiful view of the city, uh, and there's always a crowd of people going around taking 